Hi people, welcome to my welcome to Star Trek Online. I'm Shagrot and I'll be your host. Today I'm going to see the revamped uh, in ship interiors. I am inside my um, multi-vector advanced escort uh, ship and uh, well, there's not much uh, a mechanical difference between her interiors and uh, those of my other ships. Uh, I am now in Sigbay and I can talk to, the do to a doctor. I can assemble an IPAC, assemble a medical regenerator or go into medical assignments, which are quite a, vo a bunch of them. I have already uh, seven, uh, 20 assignments in progress. I, and I spent all my points on that, so I can't start anymore, but uh, this is interesting. Oh, but for 25 dilithium I can get two uh, medical whatever. It's, it's an assignment I can... Oh, file it to start, of course. I am I have already twenty in progress. Because I do have the lithium, yes I do. Anyway, uh, this is a new mechanic introduced uh, in the in the last patch of the game in the twenty three of uh, March, which was a Friday. Uh, they also introduced a new event the dilithium meaning event where you can go on a space shoot and uh, mine for a Ferengi quite funny if you're a um, vice admiral <laughs> there are more than, en than enough uh, options in here for the bartender and the counselor and the likes. Uh, this is an, a really good improvement in, on the game because it gives you much more reason than just to walk to get inside the, inside your ship. This is uh, quite good. Oh dear, I don't have Ah no, my consoles are all busy. And here I have my chef. Now the culinary level of the chef can be promoted in here. If you have some staff and uh, involve some duty officers. This is uh, quite good because if you lack uh, uh, assignments where you are, you can go inside the ship and focus your efforts. Do I have anything else in here? No. So now let's go to engineering and see what else is there. And after that, uh, considering the day we are in, I'm going to... Yeah. It's a tour of the universe, an officer report. I'm going most, more than likely to show you the crafting system. After I show you the bridge and where's the... Oh, I already crossed. After I show you the bridge and engineering. Okay, this is engineering. Like the uh, crew deck, it hasn't changed uh, much. It only has now the option to talk with the operational of operations officer host a poker game <laughs> impressive and the engineer which should be around here yes here she is ah we can assemble ship repair components paying 25 dilithium uh, our ship's batteries. That's quite useful, at least for elite missions. So we now can make those items in inside the ship instead of trusting some random drop for different from different mobs. 
and the scientist power cells, shield charges special projects, data sample analysis, trivial genetic engineering and some science assignments quite a bunch of them so this is it for the engineering level of the ship I will now show you the bridge which, uh, well, since only one part of the bridge is common for all ships it's uh, quite obvious where the assignments will be yes, we are talking about the ready room this is a tactical ship hmm? what's... ah, I suppose it's the ship is the, the chair so we get inside our ready room and you can see we now can interact with this console this console with the console please not the <laughs> not the chair and we can go for diplomatic and tactical missions there's only right now one mission in the diplomatic side and from tactic we have a lot of military assignments well this has been all it uh, it has been recently updated in the last patch as I said and the, well that's all that I can show you in here right now so let's go to memory alpha and I'll show you how to craft bye okay here we are at memory alpha you can see I've increased the size of the screen <coughs> and uh, so you can see it better memory alpha is uh, placed just north of the Sirius block in here, in the Alpha Centauri block Tenebia sector and it's the only place uh, in the galaxy where you can craft stuff so, uh, where first uh, you will be sent here with a, uh, a tutorial quest but after that uh, you will be able to move around without any kind of, tr of trouble well, the tutorial quest is not obligatory anyway uh, this man in here, James Tolliver, research uh, supply vendor is uh, somebody you need to see because of uh, the store these two items common and replicable materials at 10 refined dilithium each and uncommon and replicable materials and a thousand uh, refined dilithium each he also sells uh, schematics by uh, 10,000 energy credits but you can craft those by yourself there's also a bank in here a mail post in there and an exchange access in there and here in the middle we have the research and development table you don't need to have your stuff on the inventory you only need it to be on the bank so what can we craft in here? well first uh, we need to have the schematics you can see I don't have any on me right now I place all of them in the guild bank but here there's a schematic window here you can come and you will see there are several different stuff you can make in here uh, explaining the different parts for example with the beam array schematic you can see a 4 an arrow at a number and something that is really hard to see but you can see that uh, placing the cursor over over that part shows you different meanings in this case a uh, schematic beam array requires zero re uh, general research skill and 10 radiation samples this 4 before the arrow at uh, points to how many uh, can you craft with the resources in your bank and your inventory in case you have resources in both the bank and the inventory uh, you will be taking first the resources from the bank this number in here says how many development uh, general research skill points will you earn by crafting these schematics 
I am at the maximum cap, which is uh, 1650 or 1650. And once you have the schematic of what you want to craft, you can go to the different tabs in here, be it personal equipment, where you can craft essentially all kits, weapons, and uh, shells, all for ground use, and large power cells, high pulls, shell charges, and, uh, and horta, in case you didn't get one in one of the quest lines in the game. <coughs> you can also apply a discrimination here, a filter, so you can ask uh, the system to show you all, for example, engineering kits, personal shields, rifles, one set at a time. In the Starship Weapons tab, we see again that the categories are torpedo launchers, beam arrays, dual beam banks, mine launchers, single cannons, dual cannons, dual heavy cannons, and turrets, and so all. So let's go, for example, for turrets. You can see it requires turret and uh, some materials, and the level determines how hard it is to craft. You can see the lower levels also will give you 20 general research skill points, while the most advanced versions will give you 50. Not really uh, interesting because it already requires a thousand five uh, five five hundred uh, five hundred and twenty and uh, essentially uh, once you have that level it's you're close to the cap uh, anyway you can craft for any turret in here they will be pretty simple none of them will have the board quality for that you need the STF rewards but uh, you can see essentially that once you have the schematics the, uh, the by the way the highest versions of of each that, that are for rear admiral like require unreplicable material so what about the event that uh, there's sometimes you can see it in the scheduled events in here like time to craft you can see it's a well, it's small screenshot of the memory alpha system. There, uh, it will, it won't make uh, allow you to buy unreplicable materials and be it common or uncommon at a discount. It will, however, reduce the amount of uh, required unreplicable materials to each um, item by 20% so it's indeed a time to craft not to buy unreplicable materials since those materials are always here ready to be bought then there's no real reason to have stockpile in your system in your bank and if we search and replicable material in the exchange well there are none right now I will devote since we're at it and I think the crafting system is already well finished I will make a small overview on the exchange since it has been updated uh, a short time ago you have here two options, but, uh, to buy or to sell. You can have a maximum, I, I'm not sure right now if, if it was 30 or 40 items at any given time. <coughs> it has been rumored that uh, there will be <coughs> a hard cap of uh, 500 million maybe, or 50 million, I'm not sure exactly in the price of the exchange so you won't be able to place their items uh, by 
more expensive than that. It won't affect your uh, energy credit limit if you bought the one billion. But uh, it has been rumored as a future change. Anyway, we can search by categories. You can see here by, uh, they are sorted by price. You can sort them by name. You can select the rank, but some of the items don't have a rank, and by quality. But remember that also some items don't have a quality. You can also search for commodities, data samples, personal armor, kits, etc. And the, here is the interesting stuff: ship consoles, ship deflectors. Well, I don't, uh, I, I won't buy a deflector, uh, impulse engine, or a shell because I go for uh, sets in the ships. You can also search for fighter ships. But remember, most of them are only for the Klingon carrier vessels, not for the Federation. <coughs> Lock boxes. You can see here there are some master keys even after the ending of the. This is quite funny. Nearly 200 million energy credits for a single master key. Uh, the items you place on the on the uh, exchange, I believe, will remain there for I'm not sure if 48 or 72 hours. Then they will be sent to you through the email. Oops. <laughs> Uh, a new thing that was added was the duty officers. You can now search for them as by their specialty, with advisor, armory officer, astromedics, bartender, biologist, botanist, etc. And again by quality. Uh, purple ones are fairly expensive unless you go for the where are they? Those mm, mm, diplomats, in which case we enter truly ludic uh, ludicrous uh, places. I mean, they are really expensive, but that's because uh, the, the, the diplomatic rank is one of the most uh, sought of all. After all, it will. It is the is the one that allows you to make quick transport jumps between places, and uh, it will also allow you to well a grant diplomatic immunity. <coughs> that will allow people to move at full speed inside. Uh, hostile regions, like if you are a member of the Federation, you can travel at full speed uh, through the Klingon space, including Kronos, but I don't believe you can launch in the first city or their academy. So this has been the crafting and the exchange uh, small tour. Uh, I don't believe there's anything else I can show you that's really interesting. And uh, oh well, we can go to the calendar and you can see there are some selections. This uh, uh, this mentions of different events. Uh, for example, this one already ended. But this one, Wednesday and Thursday, means that uh, you will get a bonus m amount of uh, encrypted data disks and dilithium each time you finish that uh, STF. You can also see where we have uh, the fair uh, time. Problem, of course, is that sometimes you will find yourself in uh, bad time. For example, since I'm not in Pacific time, 
while this defer invasion goes pretty well at 8 o'clock this other one at 3 in the morning is quite hard to to play and there's already some finished ones that had that problem but uh, things are set up so regardless of your the opportunity to play a uh, fair invasion zone in at least once a week in a reasonable period of time that will be my next video by the way the defera event oh i can also show you the dilithium mining now that we are dead so to go there transwarp so after transwarping in here no matter if you are one place or another, I believe it's also free uh, should be you will find yourself in here here you can ask for an environment shoot the orange one is free I already, I already have one in the bank but uh, I didn't felt like getting it you equip it and you will fi see there are these two options in here that are similar to the ones you had in the um, uh, oh mm, where is the they already removed the 2800 mm, yep well one of the last episodes in the in fact in fact the last episode Baldi they wrote had uh, precisely one of these uh, EVA suits however it was uh, full grey you can in here buy any of these versions the orange the steel yellow and this is the pre-owned one uh, and well you can they cost dilithium so it's like um, why would I spend my money that they don't have any kind of difference in between them by the way I return to half size half size uh, window and here is where we are you can see there are some pylons that uh, allow you to navigate quickly between places and about what to do, well first we should get the quest uh, yeah 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 okay I logged my Klingon character since I believe she should be able to access that how many quests and how few I can really do anyway I'm going to I'm going to go with this one to the dilithium bonus. Uh, we will hell no. We will transwarp there. It doesn't matter where you are. You can get in here, and you can also get the suit for free. You can see I can't get the pre-owned one because I don't have dilithium. <laughs> anyway, I need to equip it. Mm, yep. I need to equip the suit, seal it, and so now I can exit the airlock. Now you might wonder how do I get all that uh, different stuff? Well, you need to go in here, a viable tab, and go down, and here, issue, asteroid mining. You can hail her, her, and you can see we will get 77 skill points and 83 bridge officer points. Oh dear. Now we have the option of mining rocks. How do we play this? Well, the same way we re uh, we collect samples. If it works, yeah. We have one minute to rotate this triangle you can see it's now collecting 
it, uh, the, the white triangle needs to be perfectly aligned with the red one and you have uh, left and right keys of your keyboard to rotate and you increase or decrease the size of the white triangle with up and down keys it, uh, the amount of dilution you get per tick or pay or per moment depends only on the amount of time left for the end of the of the opportunity window to get the dilithium. The closer you are to the ends, the bigger is the reward. While at the beginning you get only five points of dilithium per tick. Well, only five points uh, uh, of, of that. At the end you're getting 25, and you can see with 420, I got nothing. <laughs> The quest was is uh, sometimes bu uh, booked, and it won't uh, give you anything at all. So I need to spend another minute mining here. The, uh, each time you do this, it's uh, five minutes doing this, and you can see it's uh, fairly hard to get a huge amount of dilithium from here. It is a uh, 48 hours event anyway and it has its own time window where you can get more from more uh, of this dilithium per per attempt you can see I'm not that good with this uh, minigame and uh, it's fairly... I don't know if random or what uh, but well now I'm getting 30. Funny. Oh, this is a new record for me, 590. And I got 80 dilithium ore and some small uh, DNA sequence, anyway. You can see it's uh, unrefined dilithium, so it won't help you anything. And you can see there are several positions in the map that's where you need to go to keep uh, mining once you finish in one place you need to go to the next place so to be able to keep mining because you won't have uh, the option of mining where you were before so you can see that this was the new additions to the game <laughs> fairly booked I must add since the last patch so that's it thanks for watching and I hope to see you again and you enjoy the game as much as I do personally I'm not really fond of the mining event I think of it as uh, mostly a time sinker but fortunately you can teleport there instantly without any kind of problem but, and in case you need its physical location, it's nearby Deep Space Nine. Uh, as I said before, thanks for watching, have fun, and I hope to see you again. The next video will be, hopefully, the, the fair invasion. I had promised it, it, would, it would be this one, but, uh, well, a new staff showed in the game, and I thought, why not show it to you? And have fun. Bye. Well, just a heads up in here. I am in Starfleet Academy. And I just noticed this uh, Vulcan personal officer. This uh, in here. You can see we can ask for a new officer. Which is uh, not working right now. And there is a new option which allows us to turn some co uh, white level officers or common into green, greens into blues, and blues into purples. Yay! <coughs> it is uh, quite easy to make, and you need to select five different. Uh, well, officers, 
and uh, then mm, yeah and pay 25 dilithium it also is quite uh, quickly an assignment you can see I got uh, a new green level officer and 25 recruitment points and and that's it because I tried to I started uh, oh no it's a key it's here it's here it's still here you can turn by a hundred dilithium green into blue hmm mm. so let's see what uh, what do we have in here okay and let's get rid of this of the unscrupulous chef chef and let's get rid of the of this biochemist yep this uh, botanist explosive experts no thank you I only have two and this I just received but so oh well Founder of teamwork, teamwork, emotional. This one. So this takes also about three or four seconds, and I get a blue level duty officer. This is a good option if you have uh, problems with the amount of duty officers you have to turn them into well. <laughs> A more, com a more compact and useful uh, version of themselves. If you have too many duty officers, you can have them well, all in blue quality or or such. And it's quite fast. Also, the Vulcan Cultural Exchange allows you to get uh, a single, a single duty officer. I don't have it right now, but uh, believe me, it works. So there you are. If you have problems because you have too much. Uh, duty officers, you can compress your rooster into a more quality one paying some dilithium and losing some of them in the process